Hello, welcome to the 30 Day Growth Challenge. Today, I am talking about James 1, 22 to 25. Yesterday, we had an incredible teaching from Pastor Armando Fimbres, and it was awesome. Pray that you're getting a lot out of it. This is an incredible time to grow. This is growth month. This is what it's all about. So I'm going to go through these couple scriptures, read them to you. Let's get into it. Let's let the Word of God touch us. Remember, before you ever do anything in the Word, pray and invite the Holy Ghost to help you. He's the teacher of the Word. Lord, we thank you, God, right now. Holy Spirit, show us what you want us to know. We surrender this time to you. Speak to us. We're listening. Amen. Okay, I'm going to read these verses and then just talk to y'all. It's only a couple. Verse 22. Do not merely listen to the Word, carrying on from what Pastor Armando was talking about, and so deceive yourselves, but do what it says. Anyone who listens to the Word but does not do what it says is like a man who looks at his face in a mirror. We're going to talk about that in a second. And after looking at himself, goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. He knew what he looked like. He saw it, but he forgot. He saw it, the clear picture, what he really looked like, but he was away from it for too long, so he forgot. But the man who looks intently into the perfect law or the mirror that gives us freedom and continues to do this. Oh, there we go. Not forgetting what he has heard, but doing it he will be blessed in what he does. Woo, there's so much that's going on here in these verses. Let's break this down. So obviously we know that just listening to the word and not doing it, you're deceiving yourself if you think that's doing something. Who does this? Well, let's think about a lot of people who come to church. They listen to the word. I was at church. They're like a good Christian. But we're not doing the things that the word of God said, so your life's not changing. You're not sensing anything shifting. You don't feel any more joy. You still feel depressed. But wait a minute, I went to church. Yeah, church is a great place. It's a place where God has access and he could touch you. But we still got to do what God told us to do or nothing shifts, nothing changes, right? So you have an entire group of people, a lot of Christians, whatever denomination you're from, who are coming regularly as members to a church to listen. But they are not regularly members of the presence of God where he's able to shift and teach them. They don't listen and obey him. They're listening to preachers. They're not necessarily listening and obeying God. Anyone who listens to the word, then it says, and does not do what it says, listen, it's like a man who goes to the mirror. The word of God is a mirror. I get to hold up the Bible and it's a mirror. This word is a mirror. I literally get to look at it, and when I look at the Word of God, I'm looking at what I truly look like, who I am in the eyes of God. Now, you look at a normal mirror, you see yourself, you know, whether you think you're overweight, whether you think you're too skinny, whether you think, whatever it might be, whether you think you're a good person, you're worthless, you're nothing, or whether you think good things, I'm amazing, everybody should know me. I mean, I don't know what you do. But when you look in the mirror, you're seeing whatever picture you want. But it might not necessarily be the true reflection. What I'm saying is there's a mirror physically we look at, but it might not be actually showing you who you actually are. The Bible is the only mirror we get to look at and see who we actually are. There's a book. This book is called The Girl With No Name. You should read this book. It's an absolutely unbelievable true story of this girl who was kidnapped when she was about four years old. I think it was four or five years old. My wife and I read this book and we wept through the whole thing. We were on vacation, we couldn't put it down. True story, this girl is kidnapped and she is sent, taken out into the jungle. She escapes, okay? But now she's out in the middle of the jungle. She's starving, she's about to die and these monkeys, these monkeys come and start helping this girl because this girl had eaten poison. This monkey comes and takes her, literally leads her into this water where she, where the monkey plunges her head down into the water so that she has to drink this water. I'm too, this is all true. And so she vomits. But the monkey, what he was doing was saving her life because the poison was in her stomach. So as it kept making her drink the water and vomiting, she was getting out the poison that was in her stomach. Well, anyway, this monkey saves her life. 
She grows up with these monkeys, becomes a part of the monkey family for the next like seven to nine years. She completely is surviving, speaks like, the, like literally is living like a monkey in the trees, everything. True story. Okay. She then finds people. The only way she found people, she didn't know what people were. She doesn't remember any of these. She only remembers faintly the like sound of a woman's voice or a man's voice. So there are these hunters that are coming into, and she's up in the trees with her monkey family. And she's looking, and these hunters, and she's like, what is that? Just like a monkey. And one of the women who's on the, the trek with them drops a mirror. They pass by. She climbs down the tree. She goes and looks and picks up the mirror, turns it around and sees her face for the first time she can ever remember in a mirror. And she realizes she doesn't look like a monkey. Her face looks different. The moment she realized that she looked different from all the things she thought were around her, she realized, I'm not a monkey. Her life shifted and she went and sought out people. The incredible story, it's unbelievable what happens and she gets adopted and all this stuff happens and God's in the midst of it all. But the point is that mirror actually finally shows you who God says you truly are. You could have believed a lie. You could be believing a lie right now. And if you don't look in the mirror, and this is what the next scripture goes on and begins to say. It begins to say, listen, maybe you looked in the mirror, but because you don't continue to look in it, you're going to forget. So you can't just look in it one time. You got to come back and look at it again. Why? Because the world is trying to give you its reflection. Your feelings are trying to tell you what you are. All of these things are constantly trying to invade this. So if you don't come back often and look at this mirror, you are going to forget what you look like in this because you're looking in the mirror of other people's approval. You're looking in the mirror of whatever you think about yourself. You're looking in the mirror of your failures. Whatever it might be, there are many mirrors. But only God's mirror reminds you of who you truly look at. So here's the secret. You got to look intently. You got to be... You got to like have an intent, meaning that you have predetermined, I'm going to go back today and then tomorrow and the next day and the next day. I am determining that I am fully dedicated to looking in this mirror. I'm intentional. And then continue to do this. You won't forget. And then you're going to be blessed. Woo! Y'all, don't forget the mirror. Don't forget this beautiful mirror. When's the last time you dedicated intentionally to say, I'm going to look in the mirror every day. Can you imagine if you went out of your house without looking in the mirror? Some of y'all look crazy in the morning, right? I know I do. I better look in that mirror. My hair is over here. You know, I might be smelling. You got to look in the mirror. You don't, you don't want to go out of your house, ladies, without the mirror. Some of y'all, you know, you got some paint you put on your face. You know, some of you guys, you need, you know, give some of the, you got to, you got to look in the mirror, Right? Don't go out of your house. Don't go, out, don't go into your life. Don't go in that day. Don't end the day without looking in the mirror. God bless you today. I pray you got a lot out of this. So many good things coming. Uh, once again, hope it was a fun time. We're going to be in uh, services. Continue with the 30-day growth. Continue staying faithful. We love you all. Let me pray for you. Jesus, we thank you, God, that you gave us this beautiful mirror called the Word of God. And we thank you in Jesus' name that you're telling us what we look like, that we would believe it, and that we would intentionally continue to look in it and not forget because you're going to help us do that. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Talk to you later. See you tomorrow on the next day.